All right, man, I'm going to be completely honest. There's about like a 75% chance that the entire buildup from last time with this scientist that sort of runs the robots, that this entire thing is just going to be some stupid joke where he trips over himself. His staff breaks and there's not actually a plot twist. Or like he actually has no power up. But the tournament of power has been unpredictable so far. So who am I to guess? But welcome back to the channel. We only have, I think, 10 left in the tournament of power, which is honestly crazy. Despite the fact that this has been a very, very long tournament universe seven is still looking really good and as i've been saying whenever you have that much you have that much to lose if you need the channel don't forget to drop a sub drop a fat like on this one and let's get started all right let's see if i was right that's a pretty confident maniacal laugh well the bot is standing again no way he's a part of it too that was a glorious jump oh maybe i was wrong no way he joins the formation okay now it doesn't even look like a robot anymore it's like more of like a natural being damn what a power up though oh my gosh that thing looks like a beast oh hold up then hold up how much energy though agnilisa bro it's king kong and there's frieza dude is he ever gonna partake or just watch the whole time <laughs> pepperoni it is a pretty sick design i will say Anya Laza? Is it like a lasagna joke? Anya Laza. But if I were scared, would I be laughing? <laughs> oh my god, Supreme Kai's actually lost it. It's powering up more. Oh no, it's just it's shooting blasts everywhere. Spreading the battlefield out a little bit more. Destroying the indestructible arena even further. I wonder if Pepperoni has like full control over Anya Laza. Or if it's more like all of them together, like a fusion. I think Vegeta's gonna get humbled real fast. Yeah, bro just smacked the Big Bang away. It's like a freaking raid boss, man. Look at those thighs! My gosh! Dude, they put it into perspective even more how big it is. Yep, yep, I would have been confident too. I understand now. I was so wrong. I've never been more wrong. Dude, this arena is going to be gone by the end of this, man. Jared just standing. I can't, bro. He's too much of a show off. Oh, actually, it's still in pretty good condition. It's just random rubble everywhere. It makes things interesting, though, like with theirs in the Pride Troopers universe. They might have to take it on together, honestly, and then fight each other. I don't think we can stop him unless we all fight together. I see you play passive, man. You're the most people in the tournament. To oh, my gosh. Of course they won't. What am I thinking? Oh, man. I love everybody working together. It has AoE. No, he's going to punch all of them away. Not even an AoE attack. I mean, it could be a cool concept of Jiren and, and the other pride troopers like jump in too. And maybe they will. I don't know, it wouldn't be beneficial for them too. It'd be more beneficial for like, to like Universe 7 be weakened. I guess is he can send out ultrasonic wave, much like a dolphin. Oh, bad. Bro! It's goddamn attack on Titan. Watch yourselves. It looks like he's about to attack. Looks like he's about attack. Solid captions. Oh. He has portals! That was so sick! Is he strong enough to bend space itself? I thought this I thought space didn't like exist here. Like other dimensions didn't exist here. How do you engineer that? That is a terrible Bro! Frieza saving Goku! Aw oh, shoot! No, 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 no. He's going to fly off the ring. I may be late to a lot of the little twists and turns here and there. I'm on it on this one. I hope you can forgive me for not having a softer touch. <laughs> Dude, Frieza was licking his lips seeing the opportunity to hit Goku. What do you say you help us fight this guy? Yeah, why don't you partake? Finally. Oh, maybe he'll have to. I like how he wants to keep him in, though. Yes, dude, finally. He's a beat. Oh, so the thing in the middle of his head is a beam. Okay. Is he gonna eat 18? That's against the rules. Or maybe he just like to, to, to like disable her. It wouldn't actually kill her. She's accepting it. Oh, Goku. Thank you. I mean, listen, 17 and 18 have done so much this tournament. They, they, they've they earned their exit at any time. I'm, that's all I'm saying. They've done way more than I ever expected. I hated to underestimate them, but I've been proven wrong. Couldn't a 17 just spam the green orb at all times? Oh, no. Wait. I said I'd be fine with him going out. Not like that, though. Just destroying the arena? What? Win this for us, all right. 
What? She gotta boost them back. Oh, shoot. Kept him in. I think she realized she needed to go out. Like, after she got caught by lasagna. That's what I'm saying. I sacrificed myself so you could keep going. So Don't let her down. Yep. Yeah, th now he wrote. Oh, look at these five together, baby. The rest of our universe is evolving. It has wings, brother. Lasagna goes crazy. Oh, yeah, destroy the ring and then just fly. Oh, my gosh. He's going gold. They're all, like, going max power. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. That's actually smart, though, for Lasagna to try to destroy the ring. Since he's... I think he's the only one in this tournament that could fly. They're all blasting. Oh, my God. Dude, look at the beam. It's beautiful. All the colors. It might actually still destroy part of the ring, though, whenever it explodes. That's a fat bomb. Vegeta's just gonna throw himself in front of it, trying to get, like, Ultra Instinct. <laughs> He's jumping in. Oh my gosh. With the orb. Hold. He went through. Damn. Oh, he's just straight punching him. Yo. It shattered. I don't know. He's a robot. I forgot. Beerus finally actually just cheering instead of being pessimistic. At any rate, Seventh is earning this more than the Bride Troopers. They're, they're taking part in everything. It's beautiful. <laughs> they're already pushing the buttons on it. Dude. Two universes left. Aww. Bro is so chill about them just disappearing now. Dude, I gotta give it to him. Crazy hard fought the only thing we can do now is accept this as our destiny oh no regrets i mean they put up a crazy what <laughs> mule we're out of here wait what that was the destroyer it wasn't a robot the whole time it was a dude in the robot what dude 18 went crazy Pose being an android gave me an inside track <laughs> okay and frieza actually helped i add it to the ledger of all the ways you <laughs> oh shoot there's only three you left congratulating yourself? they did everything bro i hope you enjoyed the last triumph of oh shoot <laughs> it's bad to go crazy dude did they get any time to rest like so many before it. just the, the 1v1 one teams bro look at the arena unflappable that shot goes hard this is it okay so after the fake out of last time i'm actually very glad they did fake it out and there was this form because that was a sick sick form lasagna was like i said raid boss it's what i expected them to be whenever they first combined when they first combined it really didn't do much like it was just like very small fight to be honest this required the entire seventh to come together including frieza and like i said like it was a god dang destiny raid take down lasagna it added to the fact it wasn't just a beam if it had just been a beam clash it would have been like oh that was cool but android 17 taking the the reins and just blasting through the entire thing with his orb a really creative and sick way to use it might i add and just busting his power source open and like i said earlier 17 and 18 have blew my expectations away much more than i expected out of like piccolo for example or i guess even krillin but now we have our squad and it, like there, there's nowhere to run it's just the two teams man i'm expecting some banger fights to really close out this tournament i mean like i said we got like 10 to go man it has been a long road up until this point i mean the tournament started over 20 episodes ago and we have seen the highs and lows of every character in it and now there are only two teams left our boys at universe 7 and the pride troopers three to be exact jiren topo and dispo and it is going to be absolute madness the rest of this tournament because at this point i'm pretty sure the only way that goku can really reach jiren's level at the very least is through autonomous ultra instinct and the rest of universe 7 i think just has to sort of support him in that manner like i don't know if any of them can reach that level Hoppo and Dispo, I feel like, are going to be sort of the wild cards and everything because whether or not we've seen all that they can do, they're sort of that for Jiren, I think. Support to make sure that he has teammates that can keep him going. Since if, if all of Universe 7 piled together and just went and went to town on Jiren, start clapping cheeks, they might stand a chance. But with this many fighters still left, it's just going to be a brawl when I'm ready for it. Boom, 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 bo
Oh, man. <laughs> he was just Dismo's ears blowing in the wind. <laughs> okay, dude. Oh, shoot. It's really going down now. No random Rebrian to step in for comedic relief. It's all go time. Dude, look at Jeremy. He looks so hard right now. I bet he's really bricked. There's nine minutes left. Come on, guys. Ten anime minutes is crazy long, though. And we know this. All the pride <laughs> troopers. This finale will be a sight to behold. Yep. This for real is the finale. do look a bit bare. There's just no one besides the, the angel from every universe. I believe this will help. We're getting an audience? Or are we gonna just like scoot everybody closer? Oh, this is nice, dude. It's kind of awkward. <laughs> Low def Zenos is just awesome. Look at us all together. This is downright cozy. Downright cozy. The winner shall be determined soon. I wonder if it'll actually run out of time. I just like Top too much, man. I gotta cheer for Universe 7, but Topo's just my favorite. Goku taking the first steps, attaboy. I think Jiren probably matching. I can expect a lot from Frieza too. I know he won't let their universe go down. He cares too much about himself. God, he looks straight up just crazy. It's like the two, oh my God, they are close. He's going straight to blue. This is it. <laughs> Why is he grunting? I mean, you gotta give it to Jiren to even just stand there. Like he doesn't have any crazy form or anything. He's like anti. His voice is like echoing. What just happened? Well, oh, the drums, they're already biting, bro. My hands are actually starting to sting a little <laughs> okay, bit. dude. They're just they're having a chill conversation. Simpleton. Those are some fighting words. I wonder if Goku and Jiren are just gonna like duke it out while all the rest of theirs, like the two others from the, the Pride Troopers and Universe 7 just fight. It would make sense kind of. Like I said, I feel like Goku's the only one that can match Jiren. Are you ready to start round two? Yeah, that was just a warm-up. Of course Vegeta's getting in! I don't think Vegeta can match Jiren, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, oh, Dispo. Oh, wait, Freeze. I think that's Freeze shooting at Dispo. That's like the, the nails. Yeah, dude. Oh, we're just getting into it, man. I like it. Not wasting time. I'm the fastest warrior alive in the entire multiverse. I don't know. Jiren and Goku are kind of fast. And then Toppo against Gohan and Ant. Dude, this is so hype. This is so sick. Bro, he's just standing there. Dude, all it takes is Jiren to just hit him back. Yeah, Vegeta, bro, you gotta set your ego aside, man. Even Goku needs to reach Autonomous Ultra Instinct again for it to, like, really match up. Like, Jiren just, like, he's like, Vegeta's the little kid, bro. He's getting tossed around like a rag doll. You are a stubborn one, aren't you? Yes, the most stubborn. Bad news oh. For you, oh, oh, wait, hold. I've got you figured out. There's no way. Does it do anything? Okay, but he actually got through the fists. What? No, no, no. Jiren's faking it. There's no way. He just figured him out. Oh my god, bro. This is going crazy. I'm here for it. By the end of this tournament, I will have no voice left. None. Stop acting so calm, Eleven. Your show isn't fooling me. Maybe he's trying to lure Vegeta into a false state of like confidence. Nah, Jiren's sweating a little bit. Believe that's possible. <laughs> okay, dude. He also wants to get the ultra instinct. I mean, yeah, duh. He, was he wants to push Jiren to basically kill him, put him on the brink so that he can unlock it too. Oh! Oh my gosh! Maybe Jiren is scared of pushing Vegeta to that level, and he doesn't want another Saiyan to get there. Damn! Oh my gosh! Dude, these shots go crazy though. Like Jiren just looks menacing. He's trying to catch it. He's trying to take Jiren's energy like Goku did with the, the spirit bomb inherently. No! no, he took it. Why are we getting away? Oh my goodness. Dang! He wanted to see his him. Oh my god, the disrespect though. Oh my god! Freeze is getting his sh rocked! The pride troopers are going sicko mode. He's gonna put his focus on Gohan and 17 can make a play. Oh no, he straight up just hit him with the Kamehameha. Oh, it did nothing. I mean, the most we've seen Tapo sweat was whenever he sparred with Goku back at the Zeno Expo. No. 
Oh, shoot. Dude, this is crazy. All the cutting back and forth. There's so much happening. So what about Vegeta? There he is. I think. Did he unlock it? No, I feel like it would take even more. I really like Jiren's design, man. It's so simple, but menacing. Try all you want, but that will be impossible. See what? <laughs> Are we shocked that he says this? That he has this much confidence? Your fighting style reeks of arrogance. Ooh. Ego infects your techniques and makes Ooh. You Is that supposed to be insulting? Bro, the piano? Yeah, I'm arrogant. I say damn right. Damn! At least he, he, he accepts it. <laughs> this is Vegeta's peak. Dude! Even their Kai! Now he's even stronger than when he was driving back Jiren a minute ago. You're starting to learn how Saiyans work. Dude, these shots go crazy though. Oh! He said call you out! He's, he's just gonna take it! Beerus? Here we go. D Jiren said he would take it. What if they push Jiren even further, though? Oh, wait, Toppo's kind of worried. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. This means a lot, though. That was like all of Vegeta. That was everything, man. Oh, he's down! Oh, my God, he's, not, he's actually knocked down. No shot! Vegeta! He's behind him, isn't he? What is that? What is that? Oh no. Oh no. What is he doing to him? Okay, dude, if that doesn't power up Vegeta, then it just straight up kills him. Vegeta's attack was so amazing, but it didn't do it. <laughs> okay. Did, did Jiren repel it? And that was what that was? It was just a, 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 a hit back. They're gonna just gonna toss him out of the arena. Dude, he looks paralyzed. One minute went by. Is every single one just gonna be one minute of the tournament? I wouldn't be shocked. Oh my gosh. I was feeling so confident coming into this. Like if you asked me, Jack, if Frieza 1v1 Dispo, what would happen? I would tell you that Frieza absolutely clowns Dispo. But I think that's because earlier on in the tournament, he was kind of like knocked down a peg and we saw a much weaker side to him. So I'm inherently sort of underestimating Dispo as a fighter. But he really did figure out a way to just trick Frieza into wrapping his tail around him for free and then just sprint around and then throw him through the dirt. Like that was more shocking to watch than Vegeta getting pummeled because Vegeta getting pummeled by Jiren was kind of on my bingo card because he has such a big ego. He has so much pride. I knew he would want to fight Jiren since Goku has and Goku's sort of gotten to his level at some points. So it, obviously it bothers him. But I like how it reiterates the fact that like Jiren views Vegeta as a thoughtless fighter because he has so much ego wherever it puts him into a state of, I guess, mindless fighting. But then Vegeta says that like the ultra instinct is mindless. It's all about how the fighter perceives themselves because Vegeta sees it as like empowering how much pride he has that he still steps to Jiren despite being so outmatched. Like what was that line? That line went so hard. You say I'm arrogant, I say damn right. He accepts that. That's what makes him strong. He's the antithesis to Goku, but at the same time, he is the same as Goku. They fight as Saiyans, whether or not they're insanely outmatched but we're gonna have to find out later uh what the state of vegeta is because it's not looking good for our, our boy universe 7 has a lot to go against man but guys that's been it for my reaction today i hope you did enjoy drop a fat like on this one if you haven't already and i'll catch you in the next one peace peace